Hello, here we're going to be combining whole numbers with fractions. The first thing we're going to do is to simplify signs. Then we have to calculate least common denominator or LCD for short. Then we need to multiply each term by one consisting of factors that will create LCD in each denominator. What I mean by one is something like if I need to multiply denominator by five, I will also multiply numerator by five because 5 out of 5 simplifies into 1. Then we're going to combine numerators and reduce if possible. Here we have to combine 4 out of 5 minus 4. 4 is a whole number, which means it's out of 1. We have two denominators, 5 and 1, so our LCD is equal to 5. We need to change the second denominator so I need to multiply this 1 by 5 in order to create 5 in denominator so whatever I'm going to do in denominator I'm going to do the same thing in numerator this gives us 4 out of 5 will stay the same minus the second fraction will have 5 in denominator now in numerator we will have 4 times 5 20 the next step is very important. We combine the fractions under the same denominator. When you're combining fractions, you will put LCD in denominator, in denominator, which is just 5. You write it down just once. And we copy numerators. So 4 minus 20 will stay in numerator. So now we get it's out of 5. In numerator, we have positive 4 and negative 20. Different signs will look for difference. We have more negatives, so the difference will be negative. And difference between 4 and 20 is 16. So this is our solution. However, negative 16 out of 5 can be rewritten as a mixed number. You can do it by long division. 5 goes into 16. 5 goes into 16 3 whole times. 5 times 3 is 15. Look for difference, so minus. And we get 16 minus 15. The remainder would be 1. If you do it by long division, we have the sign is still the same, negative. 5 goes into 16 3 whole times. And the remainder was 1 out of 5. Here we have to combine 3 out of 7 minus negative 7. So the first thing you need to do is simplify the signs. So negative times negative gives us positive 7. 3 out of 7 will stay the same. A whole number is out of 1. So now we need to figure out the least common denominator. And LCD for this expression, we have 7 in the first denominator and we have 1 in the second denominator. So LCD is 7. Pretty much if you just have a fraction and a whole number, the LCD is the denominator of that fraction because whole number will always have 1 in denominator. So now we have to multiply this 1 by 7 to get LCD. Whatever we do to denominator, we do the same thing to numerator. So now we have 3 out of 7 in the first fraction, plus the second fraction will have a 7 in denominator because 1 times 7 is 7, and 49 in numerator because 7 times 7 is 49. Now we can bring everything under LCD. So LCD is 7, we copy numerators, we had 3 in the first fraction, positive 49 in the second fraction, 3 plus 49 gives us 52, and it's out of 7. And this is our solution. If you need to convert this into a mixed number, just do a long division. We have 7 into 52. 7 goes into 52 7 whole times, so we get 7 times 7, 49. The difference between 52 and 49 is 3, so 7 goes into 52 7 whole times, and we have a remainder of 3 out of 7. Here we have to combine 6 minus negative 1 out of 8. So the first step would be to simplify signs and we get negative times negative plus keep everything else the same. So we have 6 
plus 1 out of 8 if you have 3 and a half that's a mixed number this can be rewritten the way you say it is the way you can rewrite this three and a half so this means three and word means a plus half is one out of two three and a half can be rewritten as three plus one half that's the whole secret behind a mixed number so if we have six plus one out of eight one out of eight is a reduced number on this step we can just write six and one eighth a mixed number however if you need just one single fraction we would have to find least common denominator but six and one eighth is a perfectly fine solution lcd for this expression would be eight six is out of one we would need to multiply one by eight whatever we do to denominator we would have to do the same thing to numerator and we would get 48 out of eight plus one out of eight now we bring everything under common denominator of eight and we combine numerators so 48 plus one so now we have 48 plus one 49 out of eight and this would be our fraction solution here we have to combine three terms one half minus one out of 18 minus negative six so the first term is one half that needs nothing to be done with one out of 18 is positive so we have negative times positive one out of 18 negative one out of 18 negative times negative six gives us positive six six is out of one we need to calculate lcd of 2 18 and 1 and the smallest number that is divisible by 2 18 and 1 is 18 if you are not sure take your lcd 18 and divide by each number so we have 18 out of 2 18 out of 18 and 18 out of 1 18 divided by 2 is 9 18 divided by 18 is 1 and 18 divided by 1 is 18 so now we multiply each fraction as needed to have lcd in denominators 2 needs to be multiplied by 9 to get 18 whatever we do in that denominator we do the same thing in numerator then we have 1 out of 18 18 is already lcd we need to do nothing about it then we have 6 out of 1 1 needs to be multiplied by 18 whatever we do to that denominator we do the same thing to the numerator 18 so now we get 1 times 9 9 out of 2 times 9 18 minus 1 out of 18 plus 6 times 18 108 out of 18 now we can bring everything under common denominator of 18 and we have 9 minus 1 plus 108 9 minus 1 gives us 8 plus 108 out of 18 8 plus 108 gives us 116 out of 18 and this is our solution but if you need a mixed number divide 18 into 116 18 goes into 116 six whole times if you do it on a calculator you would have a decimal after six six times 18 is 108 minus the difference between 116 and 108 is 8 so this fraction equals to 6 and 8 out of 18 as a mixed number that's all